Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ryan Ride Mechanic channel. How the heck are you doing today? Hey, look, today I wanted to show you this really cool video about how to change out a bladder inside of an inflated collar for a rapids ride. Now, this is definitely not my video. This video is by CPI. Uh, if you're in the amusement industry already and you're not using collars by CPI on your rapids ride, they are really good to use. They have a replaceable bladder system. I like them a lot. They're a little tricky to take out. These ones in the video seem to be much easier, but that's mainly because they are um, not installed. The ones on a ride are typically installed, but it's a quick video. Give it a quick look and see, and uh, let me know what you think. Take care. Bye. Now get ready. Here we go. <laughs> CPI Amusement Bladder Removal and Replacement Instructional Video Part 1 Bladder Removal Open the valves on top of the bladder to deflate. Deflate the bladders on both sides of the bladder to be removed. Cut and remove the zip ties from the valve body on top of the bladder. Push the valve body through the top opening and down into the collar. Use a shop vac or reverse air pump to deflate the bladder. Make sure the bladder is completely deflated for easier removal. Begin removing the bladder from the collar. Lather the bladder with soapy water and twist to make the removal easier. Continue pulling on the bladder until it is completely removed from the collar. CPI Amusement Bladder Removal and Replacement Instructional Video Part 2 Bladder Replacement Place the bladder on a flat, clean surface and roll tightly on short side. Dip the end of the bladder in soapy water to make reinsertion easier. Twist the bladder as you feed it through the opening in the collar. Unroll the bladder inside the collar after completely reinserting. Lathering the bladder with soapy water after unrolling will help the bladder slide into proper position inside of the collar during reinflation. Bring the valve body to the top of the collar, threading the zip ties through the grommets on each side of the valve body tabs. Pull the tabs on each side of the valve body up through the collar opening. Thread the zip tie through the top of the first hole and under the collar opening to the second hole, bringing the zip tie through the second hole. Using a blunt instrument, pry the edges of the valve body through the collar opening. In this instance, we used a flat tip screwdriver with the corners ground off. Open the valve to begin reinflation of the bladder. Check the instruction manual provided by CPI Amusement to ensure that the bladder is inflated to proper PSI. Bladder should not be inflated to more than 2 PSI. Begin filling the bladder with air. As you fill the bladder with air, shake the collar to help position the bladder. The soapy water used in step 15 will allow the bladder to slide into position more freely. Inflate the bladders on both sides of the new bladder. Check the air pressure during inflation to ensure that the bladder is inflated to the proper PSI as per the manual provided by CPI Amusement. Bladders should not be inflated to more than 2 PSI.
close and seal all bladder valves. Secure the valve body to the top of the collar with the zip ties. Feed the end of the zip tie back through the grommet hole so that it is under the valve body. Trim the ends of each zip tie. And for heaven's sakes, stay off the air gates.